This is Scott Bradley coming to you from www.scottbradley.name. And in this Evernote video, I'm going to teach you how to think about using Evernote to increase personal productivity and life output. And by teaching you how to think this way, it's going to help you create your own custom Evernote setups, just like you've seen me do on this Evernote Scott YouTube channel, so that you can take the way I'm thinking to create what I'm showing you, so then you can take it and run with it to create other Evernote systems within your life. Let's get started. The very first step to thinking about how to use Evernote is to very first, the first thing you want to do is watch the 11 features that make Evernote awesome on my YouTube channel. You're going to see something that's going to pop up that can take you right to that video if you have not seen it, but if you've seen it, just keep watching and we're going to get right to the content. The next thing, the reason why watching that ever the 11 features video is so important is because it is going to help you understand all the moving parts in Evernote and the functionality and features that will drive how you structure your future Evernote setups that you plan on creating. The next question, ask yourself what I like to call the key question. Because right now, when you think about all the things that you're doing in your life, in your business, as an entrepreneur, as a mother, as a father, you're doing a list of things every single day, every single month, every single year. And, you know, that's where you see here, I'm already doing X and I'm getting X done doing Y. So an example would be, I'm already going to the grocery store and I'm using a pen and paper to write down my list and make sure that I don't miss anything on my list. You know, I'm already blogging and planning my blogs using a, a written calendar. How, you know, I'm and basically by getting my blogs written, I'm using that calendar to help me figure out what my next post is. And really, when you start looking at everything that you're doing and what you're using in your life to, to create that result, you really have to ask yourself what I like to call this key question. How can I use Evernote to do X more effectively and in a way that makes my life easier and more productive? That's really the million dollar question. And to be brutally honest with you, that's the question I have asked myself before creating all the videos on this Evernote Scott YouTube channel. Because, you know, when you finally understand the what's, like I like to call the what's of Evernote and the functionality and how they all work, then that opens up the possibility for you to create based on what's going to be working for you. Um, so ask yourself the key question. Figure out what you're doing. Figure out what you're doing to cr cr create the result. And then ask yourself the key question. How can I do you know, my blogging planning more effectively and in a way that makes my life easier and more productive? How can I do the, you know, going to the grocery store and writing down my list more effectively and in a way that makes my life more easier and productive with Evernote? After you get your key question and after you think about this, the very first thing that I recommend that you do <clears throat> is to first list everything that you do each day that you want to use Evernote to help you do better and more effectively. The next thing you want to do is sit down and think about the features and capabilities of how Evernote can help you create the solution to solve your problem. As you know, on this Evernote Scott YouTube channel, there are multiple different videos that I have done to show you solutions, and I've been using this way of thinking to create those systems and create those videos for you. So the final step is to finally take what you've learned, take what you've thought about, take what you've figured out, and then go and build your Evernote setup right after you figure out the best way to do that. Here are some examples. I'm already managing my content system using salesforce.com. How can I use Evernote, which is free, to do it better and more effectively? Another one. I'm using pen and paper to write down grocery store lists before I go to the store, wasting paper and ink. How can I use Evernote to do it better? Finally. I'm using a written calendar to create my editorial calendar for my blog. How can I structure Evernote to help me do it better? Again, these are just three examples that are, you know, I just thought about when I was creating the slideshow. But you have your needs. You have your, your issues in your life. You have your tasks that you do. I challenge you to think about what are the questions that you need to be asking yourself for you to create the custom Evernote setups that are going to make you more productive and effective in your life. So... The key takeaways, I know this is a very short video, but I just want to give you some key takeaways. First thing, know the features of Evernote and what they can do. 
and make sure that you watch the 11 features video if you haven't already done so. Two, ask yourself the key question for every one of those features, every one of the things that you list down that you want to use Evernote for to be more effective. And really sit and think and let your mind help you figure out the solution for you as you're thinking about, okay, I want to create X, I want to do X better, how can I use Evernote more effectively? Because really, the biggest takeaway that I want to tell you and that I've gotten from this is that I've noticed that a lot of people open up Evernote and they immediately see a file cabinet. And the truth of the matter is, as you've seen in all the videos on this Evernote Scott YouTube channel, Evernote is way more than a filing cabinet. It is something that can be structured in a way for helping you to get more done in less time, be more productive, and really have a greater peace of mind every single solitary day as you go about your day, as you go about building your business, as you go about managing your life. Now, if any of this is overwhelming to you, if you're still overwhelmed and you still need help, I have a special announcement. I am now doing personal one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions to help you watching this video. So if you are open and interested in learning about how I can help you, what I want you to do is send me an email to evernotescott at gmail.com with the subject line consulting session to book your appointment. Each session is going to be one hour and 15 minutes. And basically what that's going to entail is you and me are going to be on the phone and I'm going to be asking you, what do you want to do and how do you want to manage and how do you want to structure your Evernote to accomplish whatever those X item tasks lists that you want to implement. And basically the sessions that I've done so far that people have reached out to me just organically after seeing my videos, they've been really happy in how I've been able to help them. And I do have a 100% satisfaction guarantee if after our session that we have, you are not happy with the experience, I am more than happy to refund your money. I don't want to keep your money if you're not happy and if you don't feel you got value out of this session. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that if you're interested in me helping you create amazing Evernote setups for you and your life, please reach out to me. I really look forward to hearing from you and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye for now.